Hello guys, and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Emerald. Now, I did a wee bit off camera, I know I said I hate it, but you know how hard it was to find a tailor last time, and while finding a tailor, I was just training with Dots, level 11 now. I taught him Bullet Seed, and coming back from where I found Taylor just before the forest, he leveled up to level 8. So, in this episode, we going to get the gym, well, hoping, but I can't see his, no I don't, I changed it, I think, see, <laughs> I can't see his losing it, Billet C just ignored me, yep, oh right, see if you've got a traded Pokemon and you pit it too high level, it does this, <laughs> Yay. Nibbish mistake there. Forgot about that completely, but Ember's not very effective, but I'm hoping to burn them. Special. And because it's a special move, their physical defence, so... I'm hoping... Uh, physically defensive. Ah, they're physically defensive, that's what I meant. So if you've got a special move, then it always does a lot more. Oh, this is a team of the century, these two, innit? You should never do a team like this against Rock. But, as always, hit one. Then you can get the other later. But, they have, if they've got more than one, you just keep hitting the same guy's Pokemon. Then, they're left with just fighting one of them. So, it's a lot easier. And it means you'll die less frequently, or at least, hopefully. Now, unless Torchic evolves here, we're going to be in big trouble. Because we've got nothing for the gym. Really. Because we'd never beat the gym leader like this. And the first gym leader would, is going to tuber us. <laughs> well and truly. Well and truly, rip roaring with tuber us. Looks like I need to go and do some wild. Watch this, I bet you it's like two experience half it. 49. At least that's not so bad. So we'll go heal dots, even though it's a much point. So we'll go and heal dots then. We'll just go down and train Torchic. So we will. Sorry about that there. Had to do something. But I'm back. So we'll just go up and train and against a water type. Now we should get f 33, okay. I was hoping to get 49 there for it or more, but now we'll definitely get it this time. Yay, level 16. Make sure you don't press the B because if you do it will stop evolving and nobody wants that. I don't even press any buttons when it's evolving because I'm an idiot and I'll do something to mess it up basically. But the first evolution of the game goes to Torchic and it evolves into Cumbuskin and Double Kick. Now this will be good for the gym. Double kicks like bullet seed that hits two to five times. Or does it only hit twice? I know double would kind of give it away, but still. But double slap can hit two to five times, so that's how I wasn't too sure. But well, there's only one way to find out. And if in doubt, we'll bring C dot out to ignore me. Did you heal? Yeah, I healed. Obviously, if you battle the gym leader before all the trainers, like there is a way to dodge the trainers. So there is, because you could just have went up and dodged them. But you'd be well fighting them to get the extra experience, because once you fight the gym leader you can't fight them. I don't know why, but fight every trainer you can in the gym. 
and I won't speed this one up because it's a special battle, it's the first ever gym battle and double kick because it's super effective does massive amount of damage and look how slow it's going Ah, because I forget to take speed fast. Don't change Pokemon. Get another Geodude and then the dreaded Nose Pass. The Nose Pass used to be like what Miltank was like. Rocked him. Yes, right, Nose Pass has got a move, Rocked him, which is super effective against us. Hip hip. Hooray. I hate C Dot. I hate C Dot as well. But you need a gym badge, then it's up to level 20. It will listen to you, or something like that. I hope so. Now, we're faster than it, at least that's something. Now to see whether Double Kick actually just hits, just hits twice. Okay, but we'll kill it next time unless he heals. And Rock Tomb, this could do a lot of damage. 13? Is it not super effective? Because we're fighting. Uh, scratch that last comment, because we're fighting and, because we're fighting fire, if it were just fire it would have been super effective, but the fighting cancels it out, so, it just does normal damage. And that's the gym done. It's obviously a lot easier if you've just got a grass type that actually listens to you. Henceforth, if our C-Dot listens to you, but... Or if you start off with Mudkip or Chico, oh the yeah. both of them are super effective. Oh or a Lotad. Or a Shroomish, since we're naming everybody you can get it for it. But basically, if you don't want to trade the Sea Dot, you can catch it at Route 102. But it's very rare, so that's how I just get a trading thing. We get TM39 Rock Tomb from the Gym Leader. Just if you want to give it a. Th doesn't have to be a rock type Pokemon, but if you want stab, special type of same type of tap on this, they're not the same. Now when you come out of the gym, it's get out of the way. Team Aqua Grunt runs up there with the dude you saved. Runs up there with his goods. So now normally I'd just end it there because of the gym battle, but we're only what eight or nine minutes into it. So we may as well keep going on. Now what I like to do is put your lowest level to the front so is it he's obviously battling more to get experience. The levels are very far apart which I hate. I like them round about the same level. So we'll go up here and you can't go too far up, straight up. But there is an item you can get. I'll just show you that now. It is a super potion which heals 50 health. And I'm pretty sure this woman does nothing. Just telling you that when you're in a cave, wild Pokemon can just jump out. And now he's been robbed by Team Aqua by the goods, so he's asking you to be so kind to go and get it for him. So if you go over here, you'll find a tunnel eventually where he's in, but there's a few trainers and from wild Pokemon. And now my chop, I like fighting them with Ralts because Ralts is super effective. So two hits and he's dead. Got a lot of experience here. And there's also a bug trainer the other way. Look, there's two ways to go here. You can go up or down. They both end at the same place, but I go both so I can fight the other trainer. And uh, there's a bug trainer, and there's an item there which I forgot about. Okay. And a wee wormpool, which will take two or three hits. Poison sting normally poisons me, but for once in my life, it never. Ninsada, it's good for the HM Slave as I said in the last episode. I'm sure it's in here, round about here you get them but don't hold me to that because I've never actually caught one. And the items are repel so if you're getting sick of wild Pokemon use the repel and if the Pokemon are lower level than what the first Pokemon in your party is then they won't appear. They just don't pop up, but if they're the same level or if they're a higher level, 
then you still fight them. So if you're using a repel, make sure you've got your highest level at the front, so as you get, so as it's better effect. And there's another. Now, if you go in the middle, there you can you can possibly get a double battle, but uh, the, when you're in, they both turn around. But I'll try and walk past this next one because there's another guy there that you can get a double battle with. And what chance have I got? He turned around as I stepped, so it'll be single battles, which I'm not a lover of. I prefer the doubles. Easier, but oh well, you've got to do what you do. And there's that effect spell that I told you about in the last episode coming to effect. It's poisoned me. Hip hip. Hooray. So poison deals damage to you every turn and also if you walk. Now, oh, I'm just going to, I've got an antidote so I'm just going to use that and tail and a potion in routes because I want to level up routes a wee bit. Hopefully get them to evolve in the next couple of episodes. Now I'm using confusion because it does normal damage to Geodudes and it's a special so because they've not got very high special defence it's it works out perfectly basically. And that's the two. And now if you've got cut you can go across here, there's a few trainers but we don't have it yet. There's an item in here, X special, which isn't the best of items. Now in here the small indent in the wall once you get a, uh, I think it's an explorer's cat, I think that's what it's called, you can make secret bases, so indents in the walls, there's, uh, explorer kits and diamond eye. Uh, <sighs> if you get secret power, if you use that in a tree or something. I think it's either secret power, I think it is secret power, if you use that in a tree you can make a tree base basically and things like that, but I'll just, I'll go back and heal then, we'll go in this tunnel, there's no point in starting it because we're almost out of time, so thanks very much for watching part 3, toodaloo the new.